In that time, if I understand you correctly, centuries or eons to come, again, if all this rolls forward, it may look laughable because our understanding, our knowledge, our explanations, as you say, would be so much deeper and greater, yes. and, and with that, our power. Yes. Uh, uh, it's hard, to, uh, it's hard to, to grapple with, but you seem to be talking about humans actually influencing big swaths of the universe or maybe even the multiverse as we've influenced Earth. Is that really what you're suggesting? That w will we re-engineer the cosmos? Yes. Uh, that, that, that is, uh, it's, this is not only desirable, as Stephen Hawking says, but it's really inevitable because um, suppose that for some reason we hadn't colonized um, uh, Europe and had stayed in Africa until the present day and somehow our existing society had had uh, uh, that is our existing state of knowledge had formed well then we would at that point colonize the northern hemisphere because we would want to and there would be no reason not to because uh, in, in this uh, rather silly um, uh, thought experiment we would see that that we could easily make it our home the the uh, unlike any other species on earth our home our our um spaceship earth our life support system is entirely provided by our own knowledge this is different from uh, any other species in other species it's th their way of life is determined by the knowledge embodied in their genes in their biological makeup and but, given but to we them also, by evolution. But we also do depend on some fundamentals that we don't create with our minds. Oxygen, H2O. Uh, well, the, the, in fact, that's not the case. Um, that we, soon there'll be a lunar colony and the oxygen and H2O that the people there will use will be entirely generated by human technology. And uh, the first people to arrive there will find that they have to think about this a lot. They have to they have to make sure that their oxygen generators that will generate oxygen from the moon rock uh, are reliable and that there's redundant capacity to avoid possible errors and things going wrong and so on. But then after a while. They will know more that the whole thing will be automated. It will be uh, it will become easy for them. So, so easy that they won't think of oxygen as being something that has to be provided with great effort in order to make this uh, inhospitable environment hospitable. David they George, will just think mm, that it's there yeah. just as we take for granted that water will come out of the tap.